Y'all didn't want two vlogs back to back, did you? No? I didn't think so. You do? Well, some of y'all say y'all do. Some of y'all say y'all don't. Y'all, my hair is still damp from my shower last night because I had ball it in a ball. Oh, I'm crazy, Alex. From TikTok, if you're new here, like, subscribe. I'm just here to boost up bitches confidence because I'm a big bitch and I just want y'all to know it's okay okay and I just also want y'all to know that I don't have herpes on my lip don't it seem like it's getting worse y'all um okay y'all getting another vlog I don't give a fuck y'all getting another vlog always in my truck always headed somewhere because that's when I have the most time and I'm sitting still so God, this lip look ridiculous. So this is when I have the most time uh, and sitting still long enough to vlog for you guys. I am on my way to Oxford, which is like 30 minutes, probably not quite 30 um, from my house, maybe like 20. Uh, I'm gonna run over there. I was gonna go, I had to go to Walmart anyways to get Billy some boost drinks because the boosts that were sent to him were high calorie and yeah, he wasn't really uh, feeling it. It wasn't really for him, okay? So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do with those two 24 packs of Boost High Calories. Probably give them, maybe give them to his dad. His dad has a trach, so he drinks Insure a lot, and he doesn't have his dentures. Um, so, he drinks a lot of Insure. Um, maybe he'll take them. I don't know. We might be able to find somebody to take them. If not throw them in the garbage i can't take them because they're high calorie they're like 500 and something calories in those shakes um y'all it's really bouncing around y'all gonna have to be still but anyways i was on my way i had to go to walmart anyways every time i say y'all are bouncing um when people watch the video they're like girl you wasn't even bouncing but anyways I had to go get him boost drinks. I could have went like right in town, which is like seven miles from my house, but we really don't have anything good there. And today for my one meal, I actually want to eat a cauliflower pizza from Nukes. It's absolutely amazing. The crust is cauliflower and then you get whatever toppings you want on there. And then I'm gonna grab me a salad um, for the day after which is Wednesday, and then Thursday, I go out to eat with my sister, and we have a nail day, girls day, but I'm so, ex like, this stuff is really hyping me up, like, keeping me focused, um, down 11 pounds, I'm excited about that, um, I think all together, I think just to be safe, like, I want to be, like, 240 when I go back to the doctor, because I told y'all I lost 10 pounds before this, but then I end up gaining back like half, so it's five pounds. So all in all, like 16 pounds. But I just have to stick to it. Um, I think the first couple of days was the hardest because I had headaches out this world. Y'all don't be worried about me and my seatbelt, okay? I cannot stand when people tell me to put my seatbelt on. Like, mind your motherfucking business and you wouldn't even notice my seatbelt wasn't on. I don't want to wear my seatbelt. It shouldn't be a law. It's my life. I feel like the same thing with crack is. Let them just smoke crack if they want to. That, them, they mind their own damn business, you know? I know some people going to be mad that I said that, but I'm just saying. Let a crackhead be a crackhead. Let, let a no seatbelt rider be a no seatbelt rider. It's my life. Let me live it. Um. Now y'all done got me thrown off of what I was going to say. Oh, Jason's on his way here, so... It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, today's the second. Well, I'll upload this today anyways. It's almost 11, so it's 1045. And Jay should be here around 1.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my husband's boost, um, pick up me some lunch. Well, that is actually gonna be my one meal. Sometimes I eat early in the morning. Well, not early in the morning. Sometimes I eat at lunch. But sometimes I eat in the evening. It's gotten a lot easier, like I said. I keep on telling myself, you're eight days down, girl, don't fuck it up now. Every time I want something sweet, I've been able to even buy, like, little Debbie cakes and stuff for Billy and still not eat them. So, I'm super proud of myself for that. Um, even when I pack his lunch and shit, it's like, I bite this motherfucking donut. But, you know, gotta stick to it. 
you gotta stick to it because I'm not finna sit around here next Halloween and not have a baby to hustle folks out of candy. I mean, I'm just saying. Actually, I can't even take my baby out next Halloween if I get pregnant right now. My baby gonna be too little. If I get pregnant by the first, my baby be too little. I can't even take my baby out. It'd be too cold at Halloween, so. Okay, next Halloween gonna be the only other Halloween I'm gonna sit on by my lonesome, okay? And I gotta hurry up and make this baby because my motherfucking um, vagina gonna give out, you know? Once you hit menopause, this ain't worth it no more. You put men on pause. <laughs> menopause, put men on pause because you don't want that thing, or at least that's what I heard. I can't see myself not wanting no dang dang though. Like even when I'm, maybe, maybe you'll go through the change. But not wanting no packer. I just can't see it. Y'all, anybody, any one of y'all go through? I'm just all in y'all's business. Y'all, please stop looking at my lip. Dang, it's other stuff to look at. Look at the trees, okay? But any one of y'all, like, hit a stage in life where you, like, have went through the motion? I don't... Okay, so I've heard people say that you don't want it no more. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. That you don't want Peter Worm anymore. I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about dick. Um, but then it's like all those little people that be getting falling in love with them big African kings and stuff. They want that tallywhacker and they be old. Like 60, 70, 80. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think we're going to hunch until I think Billy will break before I will. I think his penile will break before mine. Because I think men stop standing at attention after a while. But I don't know. I don't know because y'all see Stan. Y'all see Stan on Love After Lockup. I, that's my show I watch faithfully. Faithfully. Not faithfully. Faithfully. Child, when Stan said he'd fuck a man or let a man do him, I was baffled. I mean, now it explains those damn bikini drawers he was wearing last uh, episode. Was it last episode, y'all? Now it explains those little panties he had on. Y'all, let me tell y'all a story. Let me tell y'all a story. A long time ago, I was a hoe. And I'm on the end. I'm just playing. I mean, I'm not playing, but that's not the story. So, the story that I want to tell y'all is... Actually, you know what? I think... I gotta ask my friend, should I tell this story first? Because I don't want to put him... Well, I'm not going to say any names in the story anyways. But anyways, okay. So, this story right here. One of my friends... Okay, I'm going to get y'all through the bumps. Okay, what y'all say? It's a damn bump. It was some bumps. So one of my friends, okay, y'all don't be on, don't be in the comments saying no negative stuff about real women don't do that because bitch I do it in a minute. Okay, so one of my friends, there was a fake profile made, okay, a fake profile with this girl. I'm talking about bad girl, big ass, everything. She was, she, she was bad, okay. Um, so there was a fake profile made. So my friend had been dating this guy for a couple months, y'all. And I'm not gonna call her no name because I don't want her to be embarrassed and I don't give a shit if he's embarrassed. So she had been dating him for a couple months. Really, really nice guy. Like, um, you know, actually it was too good to be true if you ask me. But she's never had like, I guess, she's like 30, almost 30, something like that. But she's never had, she's 30, something, she's somewhere in there. She's never had, like, a guy that, like, took her out on dates and bought her flowers and even all we yada, 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 all that good shit, right? So, because she's been with her baby daddy, like, on and off for a really long time. They have four kids together. I'm not narrowing down my friends, am I? <laughs> no. Um, she been with him, like, a really long time, and she just was, like, always putting up with his shit. Shout out to God for letting that bitch see the light. Shout out to God for putting that bitch some motherfucking glasses on. Some bigger glasses or something, okay? Um, anyways, so she's she was like, he's so perfect. Like, he texts me every morning. We text all day long. He took her on a date. He sent her flowers. He brought her lunch. And I'm just like, bro, I'd be scared of that motherfucker. If it was that night, I didn't tell her that. But, you know, deep down in my insides, I was like, girl, if a motherfucker ever that nice to me, I'd be scared. Because one time I had somebody be real nice to me, and he turned out to be a motherfucking psycho. Psycho. Okay? But, uh, and that's why they always say the good men finish last or whatever, the nice men. Because we think y'all gonna end up being crazy. Okay? Y'all don't even know us, and you already being nice. 
All right, so carry on with the story, Alice, because you're getting sidetracked. You know, ADHD playing a part. I only have ADHD when I try to tell stories, though. But anyway, so he was super nice. That's That was my thoughts on it. But at the same time, I was like, Lord, let this be a good man for her. Let this be a good man for her because she deserves a good man. You know what I'm saying? She's doing it all on her own. Like, she deserves this. And plus, I can't stand her baby daddy. Like, I beat that motherfucker ass. Like, okay? But anyways. Okay, sorry, Lord. I didn't. I wasn't cussing talking to you. I was, like, cussing talking to them after I got done talking to you. So, I had completed my conversation with you just to make that clear. I was not cussing when I was talking to you. Okay? Um, but, anyways, I'm like, okay, let this be good. They went out on a date. Again, they were texting, whatever, every day. So, here comes this fake account. Fake account.
real person. He already know this fake person got a penis at this point. Then he says, send me a picture. So she sent him a picture. And he said, you bad as fuck. I don't know. I said, I don't know if he wanted to, to see a picture of you. Like you or if he wanted to see a picture of your penis. I'm not sure which one he wanted to see. So anyways, after he said he was a giver, I was like, you know, message back and be like, I want you to So 
then I guess it was like days went by and he messages her and was like, hey, I've been trying to get in touch with you, like call you. Um, and I was on my way to drop off a, a large amount of money at your job, but you wouldn't answer your phone. I said, girl, if you don't text me back and say cash at me, bitch, cash at me, okay? If you cash at me first, then we can talk. But don't really talk, but just cash at me, okay? That man ain't won no damn 82000 He's just a liar, piece of shit. Man ain't shit. And in 2021, almost 2022, you really have to get behind this shit and see what they about. I'm sorry. I know people say, oh, I would never do that. Well, that's you, bitch. Don't compare yourself to what we do, okay? Because I don't hit Billy with the fuckery. I know I need some gas. At least I'm telling my business on YouTube. Um, I don't hit Billy. I did Billy like that. We were only actually dating. We were only dating maybe four or five months before we moved in together. And then I did him like that the first time we moved in together. But that's like a story for another vlog. Because I feel like y'all just, this was today's vlog check your man make a fake account this is if you've been thinking about it this is your sign okay this is your sign but don't be one of them bitches that make the account and then figure it out and then they're like oh why you want to cheat on me? don't be one of them bitches okay just don't um make it only if you want to know and i hate when people say oh i don't want to know why i want to motherfucking know i don't care if it does ruin our marriage i want to know bitch so, story of the day, that was it. I am to my destination. This vlog was, I was going to like vlog it out, but I ended up telling y'all whole story, you know. Day two, vlogging, telling people's business. We also, um, before I get off here, we are planning, me and some of my friends are planning to start up a podcast. I know y'all have been talking about a podcast, and I just wanted to let y'all know that we are looking into figuring out how to podcast there will be four women one man um so if y'all know half of y'all know who the hell dimples is and then we got um amanda and amanda and victoria but we've all been talking about doing a podcast and just getting on there talking shit it's y'all would if y'all could be a fly on the wall in our group chat of how much we talk about inappropriate things okay Y'all would be like, what the fuck? Y'all are weird. No, y'all probably would. Y'all be like, let me in, bitch. Um, so we're planning to try to do a podcast. We're just getting everything in order to figure it all out, to figure out how we go about it. And I think it'll be a lot of fun because we're all so like open and like blunt, I guess. Not a lot of us do like uh a lot of us because I do social media. Not a lot of us like get on camera and do a whole lot of like recording and stuff, but I promise y'all they are so funny. Even the ones that don't like really get big into doing TikToks and all that, they're hilarious. They just bottle that shit up. Bottling it up. Um, what do I have to get out of Walmart? Hmm. I forgot. But anyways, y'all, let me get off here. I done made it to Walmart. Reserved for law enforcement. Shit, I wish I had a badge. <sighs> get off here and um i may record for y'all tomorrow oh jason's on his way here remember i gotta remember i need to pick up some sodas um jason's on his way here so let me hurry up and get up in here anyways but i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog that turned into telling my friend's business but that's okay because i didn't give y'all her name and shit you know what i'm saying so that's okay and i will find somebody else's business and tell y'all about it and also i'll tell y'all about the time i did billy like that but he didn't bye y'all